What is going on guys? Today in this video I'm going to be talking about the Canon QL17 G3, a rangefinder camera first produced in the 1970s and 1980s. We're going to see if a modern digital photographer can take this thing out into the field and shoot film with it, coming up right after this. Hey guys, Nelson here. On this channel I do photography and tech-based tips, tricks, and tutorials. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So my aunt passed away a few years ago and she left me this camera. It was actually in the bottom of a box and it is in pristine condition. And I couldn't be happier with this camera. It has a metallic build with a nice textured grip. The QL in the name stands for quick loading, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. And the 1.7 is in reference to the maximum aperture of the fixed 40 millimeter focal length lens. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to load the film in this and talk a little bit more about the features. Then I'm gonna take this thing out and see if I can get a picture with it. So here is the Canon QL17. Now the QL in the name stands for quick loader. Now what you do is, is you take your winder here and you pop it up until the door opens. And now you're gonna stick your film canister in right here and you're gonna push this down to lock it back in place. Then you're gonna take your film and you're gonna drag it across here into these teeth. Now, as you close the main door, there's a little trap door that shuts with it that locks the film in place over here, which is super cool. And there's still a little window here so you can confirm that it's still in the teeth. And then you're going to go ahead and close the door. Now, the 17 in the name is in reference to the maximum aperture of the fixed 40 millimeter lens on this camera. The aperture on this camera goes from f1.7 all the way up to f16. And the shutter speed on the camera goes from 1 500th of a second down to a quarter of a second and also has a bulb mode. And this camera also has a self timer. Click that up and push your shutter button and it will count down. And take the exposure. Now I want to show you what I ended up having to do with this camera. So over here in the door, when I got the camera, there was a bunch of black gasket that had completely deteriorated away. And what that gasket does is it actually keeps light out of the inside of the camera as to avoid ruining your entire roll of film. So I had my wife cut me out some foam that we picked up at Home Depot and uh, it's sticky foam and we just stuck it in there and it seems to work just fine. So you'll notice on the side here there's a little pictogram with sunshine, cloudy, and indoors. Now this camera has the ability to select the film speed obviously. So if you move it all the way over to the right, it goes from ASA 25, push it in, go all the way to the left, and you will select ASA 800. Now, I am going to be shooting uh, with 400 speed film, and so I'm going to put my selector to ASA 400, which is just right on the cloudy setting. All right, let's take this thing out into the field. So don't judge my pictures or anything. This is not a scientific test. I just want to see if I can take this thing out and actually get a decent exposure with it. Now the battery on this camera died a long time ago and so I don't have an internal meter. So I'm actually going to use an application on my phone to meter and let's see if I can actually get a decent exposure with it. Alright guys, I've got the QL17, I have the DJI Osmo mounted to the top and we are here at the Evergreen Arboretum in Everett, Washington and I'm going to put this QL17 to the test. So let's go check it out and see what we get. Come on. So for this scene I would like to shoot it at F8 at uh, ISO of 400 and so it is telling me that I need a shutter speed of 1 100th of a second.
Well, like I said, these aren't professional looking photos, but I just wanted to see if I could use this camera, actually get a decent exposure with it, which it looks like they turned out all right. All right, guys, if you found this video enjoyable, if you found it useful, please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I got a lot more content coming up in the future. Have a great day.